right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and look at how to properly clean dishes in chemistry laboratory, okay? So first of all, guys, I wanna point out the main difference um, between the soaps that are available. You have hand soap, okay? And you have something called Alkanox soap. Hand soap is for you to wash your hands Alkanox soap is for you to wash the glassware and dishes associated with laboratory. This only goes on your hands, this only goes on the dishes, okay? All right, so Alkanox soap, first of all, how much do we need? Okay, I have it in these nice uh, shaker bottles, okay? But honestly, we maybe need, I don't know, you can kind of see there, okay? Just a tiny quantity, okay, a very small amount, okay? That small amount is gonna be more than sufficient to clean my dishes, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put the soap in like I have. You can see it down at the bottom. Okay, add a little bit of water, just like I would with a normal dish. Okay, wet my sponge, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and scrub the dish, just like I would a dish at home. Okay, so nice and clean, get all the surface. I'll clean the outside as well. Being sure to be really careful to not drop it as it's going to be slippery and slick. Okay. All right. So we'll go ahead and then rinse the dish. Okay. So when we're rinsing, guys, some people like to sit there and let stuff fill all the way up um, and then dump it out or just let it overflow. What we should be doing is more of a shower approach. We get it rinsed. Okay. Add a little bit of water. Rinse it down. Add a little bit of water. Rinse it down. Add a little bit of water, rinse it down, okay? Obviously rinse out our sponge, okay? Squeeze it out, get all that excess water, put it back where it belongs, okay? And then now we have a clean dish, okay? Now, that would normally be the end of it when it comes to laboratory stuff or, or, or dishes. However, this is laboratory equipment, so we need to do an additional rinse, okay? So after we've washed like a normal dish with soap and water, we're then gonna rinse with the ionized water. Okay, we're gonna rinse the inside and the outside of the container, okay? And the reason why we do this is so that the container is not gonna have any um, ions or any leftover uh, things that are dissolved in the tap water that we use to wash the dish. Okay, so this deionized water rinse is what we need to do. We're then gonna take a paper towel, we're gonna dry this up, right? And then we're gonna give it back to or put it back at the station that it belongs to. Okay, so that's how we would just wash dishes um, in general. So we need to dry with a paper towel. Okay, now, in terms of dealing with the washing of a uh, test tube, okay? So once again, guys, we need a very, very small quantity, okay, very small quantity of our soap, okay? So I shouldn't see anybody shaking it all out, okay? You then need to get a test tube brush. Okay, you're gonna wet the test tube just like you did with the other glassware. Okay, you stick the test tube br brush in and you gently scrub the inside, okay? Too forceful and you're gonna break the bottom of the test tube, okay? So we need to just gently um, scrub the interior of the test tube, okay? I like to wipe down the outside as well, okay? And then we're going to once again rinse. Okay, a little bit of water, dump out. A little bit of water, dump out. A little bit of water, dump it out. A little bit of water, dump it out. And then we have a nice clean test tube, okay? Now, the thing about test tubes, um, uh, sorry. So once again, we're gonna rinse it out just like uh, our dishes um, that we've talked about in the past, all right? So then what we're gonna do, we're gonna rinse with the ionized water, okay? Rinse the outside as well, okay? And then we're gonna dry the exterior of the test tube. Um, you can try to twist up some paper and dry the inside as best you can, but you're not gonna get it 100%. So when you place the test tube back in the test tube rack, you're gonna place it with the mouth uh, in down so that it can continue to dry. But you wanna make sure you dry all the surfaces that you possibly can and then put it back in the rack. So guys, this is how you wash your dishes. Um, this is how you deal with the area um, in terms of, of prepping this, okay? And then the final thing, of course, you're gonna do after you're done washing is you're gonna dry the surface area around um, the sink so it's not all messy. Uh, put the soap back, um, put the scrub brush back, put the test tube br brush back, okay, and, and basically your station's all clean.